Are you ready to cultivate an attitude of gratitude? Let's talk about it today on the Wandering But Not Lost podcast. And now your host, Jen O'Brien and Matt Emerson. Welcome everyone to the WBNL Wandering But Not Lost podcast, where together we align, connect, and prosper. This is episode 316, and you can find all those show notes, let's say it together, at WBNLpodcast.com. Before we get started today, I need to do a little PSA, as we always do this time of year. Um, This episode will actually drop on November 5th, and everyone should know what November 5th is now. It's election day. So if you have not voted already, Jenna Bryant, have you voted? Yes, I have. Yeah, uh, we have too. But if you have not voted yet, make sure that you get out there and cast your ballot ba- uh, ballot to vote. Because here, I'm just going to say this out loud. If you don't vote, you can't complain about what's going on in the country. End of story. Done. You just got to live with every vote it. counts. Yeah, you just got to live with it for another four years. Or not, depending upon it. As, as every election. vote counts, as long as the election officials are counting every vote. Yeah. It's going to be a long ride to uh, the uh, January 6th. But let, let, uh, let's, just move, let's just move on to our topic uh, for today, which is gratitude. And by the way, at the day of the recording of this podcast, see everything, you know, everything's falling into alignment, I think, this year. It is Dia de los Muertos, which, you know, is remembering your familia and uh, paying honor and being grateful, people that uh, that have passed before you. So um, there, uh, there's a lot for us to be grateful for. And with all that said, oh, one more thing, you know, because you got to always talk about us a little bit. If you want to get some of this great, grateful garb, go over to our website, wbnlcoaching.com. Go to our shop where you can find these grateful shirts and a whole lot of other selections that you can use to either wander or be grateful. So now, Jan. I've got some ideas that I want to add to the the shop for me. Maybe somebody else will want them too. So new merch all the time. Stuff to get you aligned, connected, prospered, inspired, motivated to get up and get out. There you go. That's right. Got all our catchphrases in there. So gratitude, we like to talk about it every year in November. You know, it's the thankful month, the Thanksgiving month. But honestly, gratitude is something to really be part of your day in your world every day. Right, Matt? That's right. So let I want to we've got a couple quotes. There's one that I wanted to point out. I have been back looking and listening and reading the power of now by Eckhart Tolle. And I used to call him Tolle, Tolle, but I actually looked it up to see how does he really pronounce his name? And it's Eckhart Tolle. It's like a, got a a role there, but I don't know how to do that. But this is a powerful quote. Acknowledging the good that you already have in your life is the foundation for all abundance. And I saw that quote and I had had an aha months ago, Matt, I believe we talked about it on a previous podcast, listening, following to somebody. I mean, I just always have all this cool stuff. I'm either reading or videos or creators that I follow on this subject. And the, it was just, it just hit me. It struck me. And so it's really changed my attitude about Uh, gratitude and it's not just this thing that you do we are going to talk about some cool strategies if you haven't really always had this as a part of your life today but this idea i wanted to start with first which is you it's it's so powerful and so important to understand that you are creating what you want in your reality all the time by your thoughts your emotions your beliefs and then the actions that you take so it's not just thoughts you used to think it was just Your thoughts create your reality. I now really understand it's your thoughts and what you feel. Your feelings and your emotions and your beliefs, which sometimes are limiting. Then the action that you take is what creates your reality. So whatever's going on in your inner world is creating your outer world. So today we really want to focus on how to create and cultivate an attitude that and a feeling of being grateful. And this powerful statement of be grateful for what you already have as opposed to always being in this frequency and this energy of I don't have what I really want. So I'm grateful for the, I've used this example of my car. I am grateful for my car. It's paid off. Now it is not the car I want to drive forever, but every day I use my car as an example. I, I just went and got the oil changed and the tires and did all this maintenance on it. I keep it clean. 
it's a reflection of how I feel. And, and, and it becomes this thing about m I'm grateful for my vehicle because it gets me where I need to go. It's reliable. I take care of it. It takes care of me. It opens me up to now when I'm visualizing the car that I want to have in the future, I'm already grateful for what I have. And then opportunities can come in for the next thing that I want. That's the idea behind be grateful for what you have now. Do you, do you align with that? Absolutely. Yeah. Totally. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, I'll tell you, it's funny. I, I think about, I've been thinking about this a lot lately. I mean, you know, I think you and I are both pretty grateful people throughout the entire year, right? Because we focus mm -hmm. on that. We talk about it. And it's one of those things we do. And I know a lot of people don't do that, you know, but, but I, you know, think about it a little bit more as we're preparing and getting ready to run into, you know, November, because, you know, we do talk about it even more so during this time of the year. Um, but I think, you know, I have just a much more general thing about, it. I'm just grateful for life, right? I'm grateful for every breath I take. And, and I know mm -hmm. that sounds kind of like a little bit, corny in their way. But the other day I was going for a walk and I thought to myself, wow, I, you know, I've been in and out of a little bit of a funk in the last few months. You know, it's just one of those things, you know, as you go through that. And I was just outside walking and I thought, wow, you know what? I, I looked up into the hills and these trees that I have kind of been ignoring a little bit. I looked up there and I'm like, see, you need to do what you all practice, what you preach, because just glancing up there and getting some fresh air and seeing the, you know, the nature just, there's like this whole swell of warmth came through my body. So, you know, I'm just grateful for just being able to be out there doing that. And you honestly mentioned one of the ways that can help you, find what you're really grateful for is getting out of your day to day and connecting with nature. I, I so agree, whatever that is, even yeah. if it's just, you only have time to walk around the block, right. You know, or to get outside. There's, there's living things outside that aren't inside your home. Okay. There's grass, there's trees, there's the sky, there's birds, there's yeah. little insects, there's whatever. And you can notice that and, 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 ha and hang into it. So the gratitude, you know, really helps us be grounded in the present moment when you come back to uh, what Matt just said, and that's, that's the message, one of the big messages in that Power of Now book, which is just a classic, highly recommend it. Because the power of now, in so many ways, what he's talking about is we're not in the present moment most of the time. Think about it. When you go about your day-to-day, -day, you're not like thinking right now, I'm grateful that I'm breathing right now. I'm, gra I'm grateful for this or that. You're generally thinking about what you have to do next. And we, most of us either spend time in the future thinking and worrying about what I have to go take care of, what's on my list, and you miss the now. Or you might be on the other side of that spectrum worrying uh, and, and having regrets and, and feelings about the past of things that you can't change anymore. Going to either two sides of that spectrum completely takes you out of the now. Gratitude, and actually focusing on your breath is another way, brings you right back to the present moment. It can be as easy as, you know, I'm really grateful, like what you just said. It could be as easy as that, and now you're back in the present moment. That's what breath does as well. And obviously, gratitude really can help you with your own personal and spiritual growth. So let's jump into five strategies to cultivate more gratitude into your life and therefore the lives of others. Because when you're the walking, talking example of who you want to be, you create these little ripples, little bits of energy, you yep. know, goes out there. And that's why we're always attracting whatever we want in our life. So why don't we be powerful and grounded in the moment and, be, and, and with an attitude of gratitude so we can see more of that reflecting back into our lives? I'm for that. I don't know about you, Matt. Absolutely. You know, we, we, we can we can start the change that we want to be, right? As, as uh, I believe that's uh, Gandhi, right? Isn't that yep. Gandhi? Or be the change. Is it Gandhi? I'm pretty sure. Only it was Nelson Mandela. I'm pretty sure it's Gandhi. Oh boy! I'll you can check me. He can check that in a moment. He's gonna he's gonna check with his uh, brilliant. See what Alfred says about that. He's gonna ask yeah. Alfred about that. All right. So number one, gratitude journal or morning and evening reflections. I think this is brilliant. As a matter of fact, I just saw the greatest little gratitude journals. I know. I don't know why, man. It's like I swear to God, the social media AI is becoming so much like you just say something and then all of a sudden you start seeing it. I'm not sure if I was searching for gratitude, uh, but I wasn't even on tick. I was on TikTok and it was like, look at these great gratitude journals, three gratitude journals for three, uh, three gratitude journals for 20 bucks. And whoever created them, super creative, doesn't have dates on it. You can start anywhere. It even had little stickers and it was super creative and colorful. And I was like, wow, that is, 
I think I actually purchased them because I do buy things on Instagram and TikTok shop. Hello. Uh, so anyway, a little find a notebook. And the whole point I'm making is I felt, wow. So to me, the journal, the notebook, the thing, the pen that you used, I'll call me crazy, but that can evoke a feeling in me and make me want to use it and feel good about it. I'm always in the search of, search of a great journal my entire life. I have tons of journals. Not all of them are written in, but I have tons of them. And pens. Those are my things. Find what you like and then just keep it simple. Today I'm grateful for, you know, what did you notice? What happened? You know, were there any memorable moments? They could be tiny, simple little things that happened. Uh, two bigger things that happened. So you could do it in the morning when you first wake up, set the intention for the day. I think it's also powerful to reflect in the evening. So that's number one. Keep a gratitude journal. If you don't want to use a notebook and a pen, you could create an app. There's apps for it. Trust me, there's apps for everything. Or you could just put it in your own notes section or do it online, whatever you like. Number two, pay it forward. You want to talk on that one a little bit? Because, uh, you know, you do personal notes I have in this thing, expressing gratitude to others. What does it mean to you paying it forward, Matt? No, I think it is always the little things. Always the little things to me are what make the long lasting impressions really, you know, as time goes on. So you're right. Little things like leaving a personal note for somebody or, you know, and it's funny today. Um, and I've talked about this a lot when we talk about this. You know, I always leave a note in my wife's lunch when I put the lunch together for her. And today, like I said, is Day of the Dead. So I actually wrote her this big old long note in Spanish. I translated it. because you did? You know, yeah. So, and it was all about the family and about love and blah, blah, blah. You know, it was just really cool. So today, I drove her to school today because we're going to go out after, after school. And I said, you might have to have Gonzalo or Chewy, those are the two of the people on the campus or on staff on the campus, translate your note today. She goes, I know Spanish. I said, I don't know. It was it's pretty complex uh, uh, writing. Wow. But anyway, you, the, whole, the whole point Wait, is... You, you gave her the note in Spanish, but without the English translation. Right. Oh, of course, she could go put it into a. Well, that's the whole point. Like you know, sometimes you got to work. Sometimes you got to work for your gratitude. Sometimes, but anyway, the whole point is, I've been doing this for years. And the other day, um, we she didn't take a lunch because she was doing something. You know, they were doing something at school and blah blah blah. blah. And she said, I, she got home. She goes, I it was weird not having a note. And so, you know what I mean? So, so that made me feel really good, actually, because it was like, wow. So that means, I mean, she talks about she appreciates it, but, but to, to actually feel like, oh my God, there was a little void in my life today because I didn't have my, you know what I mean? So it just, yeah, those little things make such a difference. And how hard is it to write a little note? Yeah. Like, I think that's so powerful. When I had a Charlie here for my great nephew and was taking him to school for times that I've done that, I would leave a little note. You, you inspired me. I don't know if, if it, you know, wasn't enough to make major impact, but maybe it did, you know, it was like just a little note about, I hope you have a great day or we're going to do whatever. Right. So here's another little thing, expressing gratitude or just kind of being helpful. And you talked about this a while back and this was a Starbucks example that you use that someone hold the door open for you at Starbucks. Oh yeah. Right. And this isn't necessarily paying it forward, but I guess it kind of is, right? So anything you're doing as far as gratitude is. But but today we went to Starbucks and it was it was almost like there were fight it was a fight to see who was gonna hold the door open for who. I've never really? seen anything like it ever before. You can see people calculating before as people were walking up and going to the door, who was gonna hold the door open. The poor guy that held the door open, there was a husband well, there was a couple that walked out and the guy had the door open and he was holding it open and, and and kind of walking at the same time and he was being so polite to hold the door open he had tipped his coffee and started spilling coffee as he was holding the door open for me i'm like oh my god i said thank you very much i'm grateful it's for you holding the door open. <laughs> grateful holding your door would you like me to buy you a new coffee he's like oh no i'm good thank you very much but it was oh really funny god. because it was like a, a a you know a brawl to hold the door open for people so that's cool though because you don't see that all the time and i don't know no. what it was today but it was really but see doesn't that now that that stays with you all day because yeah. it's it's inspiring and that's what the ripple effect is you might experience that because something is done with you and you want to go do the same thing and that's the little small change we're talking about and obviously the pay it forward you've heard of that is like you pay for the next person stuff right. in line and you just make that that's you know little. nice surprise thing you're not all about having to get a return on that that's that's the powerfulness of paying it forward and personal notes man i'm telling you 
I have personal notes from Matt as the best note writer. My dad was a great note writer oh, and cool. a great and a great uh, card writer. He and I have some of his from years ago oh, that's because awesome. he's just he was good at that, right? So it's it's it, and we don't do that anymore. People don't get that kind of mail. So the power of just sending people a, a, a personal note to say how thankful you are for them or just to do something, you know, just for whatever reason is something they're going to hold on to. This is the whole point I'm making. So it's, it's powerful stuff. Yeah, That's no, number two. Like, wait, wait, this is funny too. It's funny. I don't know. It's weird. I don't even think about these things about being, you know, <laughs> spreading gratitude, but I have a really good friend who's having a birthday coming up on Monday and it's a milestone birthday and we never send cards ever. That's just not what we do. And I thought to myself, you know what? This is milestone birthday. We're going to go out next week probably and do something, but I'm going to send a card. So I went to, I got a card yesterday and popped it in the mail today, which I'm hoping, planning we'll get there on the birthday, actually on Monday. And that is going to make a huge impact because it's something that's unusual, right? So exactly. I mean, it's, it's such the little thing that you can do that can just really change someone's day. But I can tell you right there, just sending a birthday card. No one gets birthday cards anymore. No. Uh, you know, I was just thinking about how powerful it might be to do a holiday card, uh, you know, or even doing cards to your clients right now around Thanksgiving and for the whole holiday season, which could be an appreciation. I appreciate you as a client. Right. You know, that type of thing. It's just enough. You don't have to necessarily put anything in it. Uh, but I was just thinking that how powerful that would be to do for our clients, for all our clients, uh, you know, and I think I'm going to, I'm actually going to do that. And I'm going to redesign it. I'm going to get some help from my, my design partner in creating a really cool gratitude card. There you go. So, so we have a created journal or morning and evening reflections, pay it forward. We gave you some examples of that. And number three is just a gratitude meditation into your daily routine. If you're into doing some kind of a meditation on a, in your daily routine as part of the do the daily that's where you can simply, it's as simple as meditation is nothing more than sitting down somewhere and s just starting to focus on your breathing. You can just get yourself into a calm, relaxed state. It, it takes practice to stop the mind with all the thoughts, but it's okay. It's not going to maybe happen the first time you do it, but I have been doing a lot of this and it's amazing that like anything, like anything that you practice and practice and practice, you get better at it. So just two or three minutes. And now I'm finding that I'm going to do it for three to five minutes. And all of a sudden it's 15 minutes mm -hmm. that I can actually stay quiet and, and do the process. So with a gratitude one, you're just getting breath, slow your breath down as thoughts come in, just let them go. And you can literally just walk yourself through. What am I grateful for? You know, what are you grateful for today? And let the thoughts of gratitude come in. You could journal them and you could just write that in there. Just tie that into a morning gratitude practice where you're actually getting in a meditative state. That's powerful because then the things can come in, right? And you can just find a little peace, start your day that way. It's a great way to start the day. So that's number three. Number four, Matt was just talking about it. Mindful observation. This can be things that you do throughout the day where you stop and pause. I'm going through a training where, and the guy, and this is a, this, this uh, app, I really recommend it. It's called Triple Flame, Triple Flame. Maybe we can put a link to it in the show notes. It's a free app that just ha it, it cultivates this idea of pausing throughout the day. And you can pick, you know, three minutes, five minutes, and there's guided stuff. There's just cool music in the background. Um, I really enjoy this one, but the idea is you're working or whatever and you have an opportunity, just take a pause and notice. Matt was just talking about walking around, get up, if you work from home, for example, get up or even wherever you work, get up and go take a quick walk. And now mindful observation is get your mind off of all the things that's going up. I've, I've got to work on this or this problem I'm having with this escrow or this person. This is the opportunity to pause and either just do a mindful walk and notice and get yourself back into that space in the moment and grateful and see something that you just might not see every time you walk by this one area that you were just mentioning. The app guidedness really helps you because if you really have an overactive mind, you're just focusing on the music or the, the words of the guided meditation for five minutes or three minutes. It's really cool. Right, an outdoor dose we have in your notes. Try practice with a daily walk or break outside for an added dose of nature and relaxation. That's all you got to do. 
it's easy to stay in all day if you work from home and not get up and stretch and take a break. And then when you get outside, you're like, wow, look at how beautiful the sky is. There's a whole world that the cloud formation is. And it's just as simple as that to shift you into a different space. That's so true. All right, Matt. Matt's favorite. It is my favorite. Before we go there, though, I, I just had a thought uh, going back about, you know, being in the moment and thinking about being in the moment. I have found myself lately uh, and I would really highly suggest that everyone try this if they don't do it already. <clears throat> if you're having a good day, like I've had a really good week. <laughs> I don't know what it's been about this week, but it's been a really good week. And I, but, but I have been literally stopping and realizing that it's been a good week. And I have been saying out loud, God, this is a great day wow, this has been a great day, right? So, and, and I, I, I found myself, I must have said it like five times yesterday. Love it. And then, you know, and then projecting, you know, almost like doing my nighttime, what, not journaling, but, you know, thinking about what today was going to bring, knowing that we were doing the podcast and what our topic was going to be and that my wife and I are going out this evening. I'm like, and tomorrow's going to be a great day too. You know, and, and, and it's just, it's weird how sometimes if you actually say things out loud, right? Like you always talk about, you know, if you're setting your goals or doing your affirmations or all of that, saying it out loud makes a big difference, right? You can have that internal voice, but to hear yourself saying it too is a big deal. So I don't know what's going on in my head lately, but it's all very fun. I love that. Which is a good thing. Um, yeah, I, I we, we, we're calling this the magic of a smile. I talk about this all the time, but I'm going to talk about it again, because I don't think you can talk about it too much. <laughs> Gratitude, you know, can change your life, I think, in so many different ways. And we've already talked about a ton of ways that you can you can spread gratitude without spending any money or doing really a whole lot, you know, a whole lot. You know, writing personal notes, huge, right? But you still have to get, you have to still get the note out. You still have to do something. You carry around a smile for free, for one thing, and you carry it around, you don't even really have to do much. Just a couple little muscles on your face change the whole <laughs> thing, right? So, uh, you know, I always have made a little bit of a game out of it uh, for me. I love to walk around and smile at people and to try to get them to smile back. And I, I am not kidding you. That I can't even really think of very many times that I've done it where it doesn't work. So I'm just going to say 100% of the time, you know, if you actually catch someone's eye, they are going to smile back at you because that's what just—it's just what happens. It's just—it's natural to do that, right? So smiling obviously is so good for yourself because you know doing that and helping, kind of paying that forward is a big deal. But it literally is good for your health, right? It it, it releases endorphins into your your body. It helps reduce your anxiety. It actually can even help lower your blood pressure, it, which you know, I mean, I don't, I I don't know that I would. Um, say this is all medically proven, but I think <laughs> there's many studies out there that talked about how just being happy and being in a better state of mind makes you more productive. It helps you sleep better. You just feel better in general. So um, so there's, there's actually a, a benefit to actually doing the whole smiling thing. So if you don't do this, here's the deal. And you don't even have to go out and play a game with it. You don't even have to think about it. If you just simply wear a smile every day, you by just by doing it, are going to change people's lives. And we talked a little bit about this, I think even last week on the podcast about how, um, how it, 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 it not only transforms your day because you're, 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 you're doing that to help other people out, but just the ripple effect of that, just, Oh my God, you know, can just do so much not for only for you, but for everybody else around you. And, and I've been in situations where like, especially in the grocery store, there's nothing about the grocery store. Everyone is like in their own little world, right? I have a really bad habit of like almost singing out loud to the music oh, that's on in the store, but I don't, but I, I <laughs> still be mouthing the words. I found myself yesterday in Sprouts mouthing the words to some songs that were on. And I looked around and there was this family that was shopping and the kids thought that that was the funniest. They were, I'm going to say laughing with me because I was okay. not being very serious. You know what I mean? But it caught me. I'm like, Oh my God, I guess I am actually mouthing these words out. <laughs> You know, <laughs> even that dorkiness actually spread a little bit of joy, I think, in that that uh, that that situation. But no, in the grocery store, a lot of times because everyone's doing their own thing. You know, I've been down an aisle of people where and I'm not saying I started this, but where people start smiling, looking around. All of a sudden you're like, wow, that was like the happiest aisle in the earth. 
You know what I mean? It's weird. So, you know, you know, I'm not recommending that you go out there and you don't just, this is my goal of the day to do that. But I'll tell you, if you can make one person smile a day, you've made a big difference in the world. So, cause they might do that to someone else and making one person happy, you know, that's, that's a huge deal. It's just an instant feeling of, of, it, it, you know, for you and for the other person and absolutely love it. Yeah. And all right. So that's some ideas. It's not hard to do. It just, no. you know, focus, just start your day. We've given you some ideas, find a way to make it happen. It should be part of your, in my, my mind, it's part of my life all the time. Yeah. You know, like mine too. Finding ways to do it. And we've included some web resources. I forgot. I will add that triple flame to this, Matt. Okay. There's other apps, website, online resources, everything from, the insight timer, various apps like Headspace and so forth that have some gratitude specific things if you're needing a little help with a guided meditation. And then we've even put links to tools and journals, the five minute journal. There is actually an app called the grateful app, uh, a, a gratitude journal app, the day one journal. We've talked about that before the daily Om. There's all kinds of things that are out there and these are just those top ones that we found. So whatever it takes, get some help. If you need a little help nudging you along as part of your daily routine, and that's uh, the power of gratitude. An attitude of gratitude goes a long way every right. day. And, and with as with any habit, if it's not a habit of yours, right? So we we always claim November to be gratitude month. This is going to give you thirty days that you can make that into a habit, which is more than enough time to turn that into a habit into your life. So if you want to be more grateful and you want to have a more, I don't know, balanced and happy and joyful, we haven't talked about that word in a while, life, um, go out there and make it a habit in your life and you're going to change the freaking world. That's what I have to say about that. Um, You can find all the show notes for today over at WBNOpodcast.com. This was episode 316. I'm actually going to create a whole little section about gratitude to where we're going to put all of the resources up there on the resource page on our website. So go up to WBNLcoaching.com, uh, go over to the More tab, and right down there is WBNL Resources. Uh, on the resource page will be um, all of these links as well. So you can either go to the show notes to find them, or you can go over to the website and find them. And if you go to the website, there's going to be all kinds of other stuff that's going to help you with mindfulness and aligning and connecting and prospering. So check that out as well. And now, Matt, what you doing this weekend? Well, first of all, I want to say I'm going to share my gratitudes right now. I'm definitely grateful for you, my friend, Matt Emerson, your friendship, your business partnership. I am grateful for this platform that we have where we do this podcast for 316 plus and moving on episodes and the ability to share things on a weekly basis. So those are two things right now, as I sit here, that I'm completely grateful for. Well, that is very awesome, Channel right. Brian. And of course, I am grateful for you as well. And that wasn't just because you said that to me. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> That's it for today, folks. Like we already said, 3, 316 over WBNOPodcast.com. Go out there and be grateful and align, connect, prosper, but always be forever wandering, but not lost. Yes, do that. Yes. Yeah.